Hi, this is this is part two of um, of my novel called uh, Jihad at Java Jills. It's part two. If you want to see part one or part three or any others, um, download. Go to get a, get a YouTube account. Download this video. Uh, uh, G, 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 uh, at Java Jills part two and uh, you can set up a collaboration with others who have done the same <laughs> who have a different video and hey in the process of this unification you might be able to um, also download those videos that expose Islam really well they're created by David Wood and others and they're excellent exposing Islam that can show the errors of it. Maybe we won't have to have our patooties up in there five times a day on a prayer rug or pay the jizya extortion tax to keep from being killed for not doing that. So that's the goal of this science fiction. And I'll be putting a little bit of the science fiction novel into the DVDs to see what you think. You say, hey, that at least seems to spruce, spruce up my curiosity. Then maybe you'll want to uh, download this video. So that's what this is. It's a cause of collaboration. It's kind of a game, but hey, uh, we'll try it. Let's see here. Okay, I'll begin here. Part two. All right. By the way, uh, what's happening here is that uh, this guy named uh, Ryan Allen Richardson. He's he's a lot like me. Uh, does what I kind of do. I do. You know. Yeah, I can't say I, I, I do. I have to release. I'm more a lot a lot like me. He's dying of liver cancer after being exposed to hepatitis B uh, by donating his plasma. It wasn't cleaned right, got contaminated. Anyway, he uh, he uh, just did what I did, which is why you have this uh, DVD in your hand, uh, why you're playing this thing, as a way to expose Islam. And I'll continue. He's, he's right in the process of making them right now. Okay. He says, if they do have computers that still play data disks, it's not Brian, Maybe they will also want to follow the instructions in uploading the videos to YouTube. Maybe they'll flood YouTube to the point where they get past the Muslim block on us, the Sharia block on us. What time is it? It's 2.27. I'll take this to 2.20. I'll take this to 2.37. Yeah, okay. Brian looked at all his uh, old laptops. There's one time in the way here. Okay, actually, I'll take it a little less than that. Yeah, all right. Take it to, uh, I'll take it to 236, okay. Brian looked at all his old laptops with flash drives uh, hooked up to them. Just about all were making whirring sounds as they laser burned away data on the disks. Block or no block, said Brian. Such a flooding of d digital data disks, uh, a, 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 such a, a, a flooding of digital disk data on how badly Islam blows it with science and ethics just might go viral to help to bring down Islam before America goes the way of Europe. It will be my own swan song. It will, it will be my swan song, he said to himself, the last thing I ever do. Brian thought further and said, oh shoot, darn it. And Brian thought, th for, thought further and said, instead of traveling and dying in Paris in, in, in the springtime, I will, try, I'll, I will try to possibly become famous with this. In the process, maybe a Muslim who doesn't study it, just, just hears about it, will come and saw my head off before the cancer becomes unbearable to the point where the pot no longer works for me. I will continue to keep my terminal liver cancer diagnosis to myself, so that just might happen. And with that, Brian Richardson got to work. Richardson bought 15 old, lap, old used laptops that were hardly worth a thing. The 15 added to the ones he had, pushing the number up to 20. One old laptop looked exactly like his first laptop, making him a bit misty-eyed as, as it brought back memories of potential. It didn't last long, breaking down and after burning five CDs, yet he didn't trash it because of the nostalgic value of it. Yeah. After an hour of, extent, of extension cords, plugs, flash drives, and hookups, his old parents' house was now humming with the sound of whirring. 
worrying, worrying. Wor they were making a worrying sound. Music to my ears, said Brian as he went. Yeah. As he went about putting in and removing DVDs or CDs from the laptops, Brian, pla Brian placed CDs only with the laptops that were to burn CDs. The CDs that were being burned had a much edited version of Project Independence Day, the title that he was placing on most of the data discs. All the videos he was now burning to them, all the videos he was now burning to them, Brian felt were great exposing Islam and its errors. When Brian had a thousand of them, he drove from his place in LA to the Bart's train station of San Francisco, not getting out of the station, but riding the trains from station to station, from station to station, dropping off DVDs on benches. Forgive me for breaking my promise, Mom, he said sadly as he tossed down the DVD onto a stone bench. Brian remembered back promising his very concerned mom that he would never do this sort of thing again out of fear, out of her fear, out of her fear that people, if they found out, would just think that he was stupid and crazy. Am I stupid and crazy for doing this? I, I could be trying to talk with French girls in Paris now, he thought. Uh, playing something out uh, like a, a typical French movie, since I'm now an old, worthless man dying of cancer. After a week of acting like an Easter bunny, using much of his inheritance to stay in nice hotels uh, that looked out over the Bay Area, Brian returned home and got on the net, going to YouTube to see if there were more of his fellow Cyber Crusaders' faces in a thumbnail form with account handles different from the ones he was familiar with. Would there be more Christian prints than David Wood, he wondered. Brian got the answer. No one had uploaded anything he tossed down. Did they even play it? Did they even play them? With that, he decided to make sure, giving them the, the title Project Independence Day, yet, yet, yet the, the title Project Independence Day, yet again, being that the science fiction movie Independence Day was about destroying their destroying very evil aliens using a computer virus after it was uploaded to the alien mothership. But again, after another trip up to the Bay Area doing the exact same thing, still nothing. Am I in hell? Brian wondered. Do, do I just do I just not understand human psychology? Am, am, am I the only one who plays mysterious CDs and old videotape tossed out on the side of the road or what I'd find on BART trains? Brian remembered looking up old uh, videotapes he found shattered. D Brian remembered hooking, hooking, hooking up old videotapes he found shattered on the side of the road back in the, 19, back in the 90s. Uh, the videotape would be blowing around and he'd play it. He noticed though that most of it was porn and some of it he wished he never saw. After playing a strip of videotape spliced into a cassette, he always had to take it in to have the video heads cleaned. Still, it later gave him inspiration to create the Project Messages from the Age of Earth, which, in a way, he still had hopes in activating should Project Independence Day be activated as well. For one thing, Project Independence Day mentioned its Project Independence Day here for you. It's Project Monster Zero on this. That's, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, it's Project Independence Day here. For you, it's Project Monster Zero. Okay. For one thing, Project Independence Day mentioned his old project messages from the Edge of Earth, which does exist. Messages from the Edge of Earth wasn't to alert people to the threat Islam posed, but, in the, but if the instructions were to be carried out, it would show how the situation with Iraq seemed to go along greatly with the Bible prophecy. such as Jeremiah 15, 51, to be exact, along with the Habakkuk 1 and 2. But, like always, that just wasted his time and risked making him look stupid and insane, like his mother worried about. Okay, I've uh, got two minutes left. Two minutes left. Am I insane, he wondered? 
Was I that desperate to leave lonely life that I'd be reading into things? Brian realized much too late in life that the Bible really seems to be right on when Paul, Apostle Paul says something like, Where there are prophecies, they shall fail, for we know in part, and we prophesy in part. I wish I learned that in early youth, thought Brian with sadness. I might not only be married now, not have hepatitis B, but may have may even had have, have grandkids now. Now I just have the cowboy with me. Brian still had thousands of blank DVDs taking up space. He decided to try BART stations one last time. This time, instead of having Project Independence A Sharpie pinned on the data disk, he'd have the name he'd have the name come up when played in a computer. On the data disks, on the data disks, on the disks themselves, they'd he would have quote Aloha snack bar exclamation mark Aloha snack bar written on them. This should do it, he thought. But the very next day, as he was haunting BART stations yet again, he noticed that the digital BART information bulletins that told of oncoming train destinations kept on telling commuters to be on the lookout for any suspicious packages or activity. Brian kind of enjoyed the fact that his art was finally being noticed, but soon feared that security was just being flooded with, the, with his DVDs where they would end up in landfills. With despair, he headed back to L.A. with thousands of DVDs containing Cyber Crusader videos. He no longer had the energy to put on BART stations. They, just, they will just uh, end up in security as well, since they have Aloha Snack Bar on them. Okay, I'll, cop I'll stop it here.